with the photo mats I've cut the main decorative area as a 6x4 which is a standard photograph size. I've cut the mount just slightly bigger and then backed them with plain paper so the idea would be that you could write on this bit and you could put your photograph on this bit and you'd have a bit of a border to the photograph. Where you take the photo mats is entirely up to you so that's a very plain looking one or you can go more junk journal style and have them with flips and journaling cards which again decorative on the front plain on the back and you could still put notes on the card on here and a photograph on the back i'm aiming to try and get 12 into the journal i've backed the first set with the mounted areas with the idea that some will be decorative some will be much plainer so i think the plainer ones will be the ones that already have some kind of design to them so they just need backing with paper but if they have nothing on them then we can decorate them up maybe add some flips so that one's okay that one needs something doing to it with the ones that are going to have extras added the simplest thing to do will be something that we've done in the journal itself which is to take the ready-made envelopes put them over for example over the top or over the side and add them to the card before backing them on the bottom we can put the bear trim that down in a minute we need to put some form of decoration on the envelope itself i have the jam jar we'll need to make up a card or a booklet to go inside of there but we'll let that dry off first i have another envelope we have two transporty type images i'm wondering how we're going to hide that flip that down and that basically over that flip okay so that one needs backing next we have a big envelope that we could just put on the card itself and you've got a tiny little envelope left put that one on there and we only have one more that would need extra embellishments got cowboy teddy then maybe if i've got something suitable we could do a contrasting area i'm not convinced by that design but i'm sure that is fine so i need to make some journaling cards next to go into any pockets that are on here there's a few actually the easiest way to do these journaling cards is going to be to do them as we've done them before which is that masterboard style where we take some of the scraps and cover front of each card overlapping them slightly Let's see what decorations we can put on these. It doesn't matter if something goes halfway off the page, like that one. So that'll need trimming up. Got the teddy bear with the love heart. Ooh, the long skinny one might be more difficult. Everything needs backing putting onto it. All of these have now been backed, edged in the ink corners re-rounded little cards added and are ready to go into these inside pockets but it depends how many we can get in i'm hoping to get six into one and six into the other then i've got six for this inside cover and we may have to do a slightly deeper pocket because these have 
flips and added bits. I need to create a big piece for that. This time to create the hinging on the pocket, we're going to make it on the pocket itself. So I've cut the pocket wider than I need it to be. I'm going to take one and a half inches off each side, scoring down there. One and a half. Those would fold over. Same off the base. To get that to sit nicely, we're going to take out that square at the bottom. Then we will attach outer one to there. Take out our notch, which is going to be at six. Ink around those edges. She fits. We can either do it in the centre or to one side. Might do it to one side. Need to make sure that it's fully open. as it dries. Once that's dry, I'll be putting the final journal cards in that pocket. And then the last thing we need to do is the cover and the spine inside and out. 